and darkness ends up uh, going out. Uh, so it, it's hard to tell whether that is crystallization, as you were mentioning, or whether it was power edges. We know for a fact there are power edges out here because there are pockets that have just gone dark in the time frame that we've been out here in the past couple hours. Uh, but as far as lightning, uh, we can't see too much lightning other than what we uh, just talked to you about. Uh, but heavy rains, uh, torrential rains out here, are coming horizontally, as you can see uh, out here. And, of course, the wind has picked up quite a bit out here over the past hour. In fact, uh, in the past 30 minutes itself, uh, it's gone from about 15 to about 30 miles an hour out here. Yeah, and that's how rapidly the changes will come, not only for you and Belle Glade, uh, Jay, but also as we uh, focus Viper in the Port St. Lucie area, uh, coming out of Stewart and departing from the inlet, uh, moving up I-95 in the turnpike for PSL and Fort Pierce. Go for it. Chris Zellman uh, moves the uh, Viper. Okay, we have Mark Siddeth on the phone, uh, hurricanetrack.com, hurricanelivenet.com, and we have the uh, live cam streaming on the screen right now. Uh, Mark, uh, tell us your conditions there. Well, I'm at the Collier County EOC where we are in the eye wall of this hurricane right now. Uh, the winds, I'm not measuring them because I'm at the safety of the building, the lee of the building, so I can't tell you what the winds are, but it looks like they're certainly well over hurricane force outside. I can tell you my air pressure, 965.6 millibars. That's wow. pretty low. Yeah, that is. Uh, the, the hurricane has 950 millibars. That's right. So um, we have 15 millibars gradient. Yeah. Between us and the center. Right, right, right. Um, uh, all right, I'm trying to connect to your uh, your other cam and down in Naples, or, or the one that was down in Everglades City there. Yeah, that's uh, an interesting cam. I wonder how it's doing. Yeah, I, I'm unable to connect. It says connecting, and it's just connecting, but it's not connecting. Uh, something bad has happened to the network, but we know that the case is safe because it's 25 feet up. Okay, we're watching your other cam here. That's the top cam is from, uh, where is that cam located? Top right or top, top left? Top left. That's the Tahoe cam, and that's where I am right now at the uh, call your EOC. They're going to lose that awning there. <laughs> and the top right, I just have a black screen. Yeah, that's the uh, Everglades City cam that must be out in terms of transmission, but the cameras are still recording. Okay, or it's just so dark still that you can't see anything. All right, Mark, uh, I'm, I'll touch back with you. I'll let you get back to work. Okay. Just want to see if anything uh, is going on there. You got it. Thank you. All right, you. thanks. Bye now. Mm, bye bye. All right, that was an update from Mark Sudd. There's his live webcam. And, uh, oh, yeah, we have their, I, I hear them. That's their live audio in, the, uh, in their um, cam there on the right. Um, all right. Um, did I have the wrong, uh... oh, you know what, I don't think I had him through to the broadcast, did I? All right, well, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and um, let's get back to these networks here, because the Palm Beach one is just awful. Uh, let's turn it up, Channel 4, they got some wind blowing here. Are itchy, they're irritated, and uh, that's probably because I have anywhere between 400 and 500 grains of sand embedded underneath my, my eyelids somewhere, yeah. so, so uh, it's really, you know, we're going to have to wash them out uh, when we get to a place where we actually have a faucet, which will be in a few hours, but, uh, you know, it's certainly going to flush my eyes, but, you know, again, let that be a lesson to people not to come out here. Um, Shamari has the right idea by bringing some goggles. Um, you know, had I known that we were going to be so dry, I would have thought the same thing. Uh, Next uh, 10 to 15 minutes for everyone from Kendall all the way through Deerfield Beach. Here is the impressive eye wall that is starting to come ashore right now over parts of Naples. They are really getting the brunt of the storm here as it is starting to move on shore. The wind is just whipping from the south-southwest. That is pushing a huge wall of water right now into this area. Fortunately, this is not a very densely populated region of southwest Florida. A huge storm surge is coming across. This is going to be very nasty for about another half hour to 45 minutes. Then the eye will come ashore and things should tend to quiet down for just a few minutes until the backside of the eye comes in. For us, as the system moves ever so slowly in our direction, Broward County, the western edge, already getting pummeled. Let's go now live to the Hurricane Center for more on this very latest advisory as of uh, 6 a.m. Good morning. This is a 6 a.m. Eastern Time update on Hurricane Wilma. Wilma's a Category 3 hurricane about to make landfall. 
The center of the hurricane now is located just 10 miles south-southwest of Marco Island, Florida, moving towards the northeast at about 20 miles per hour. It's a very large hurricane, and the eye wall on the eastern side is coming ashore now, spreading hurricane force winds and locally Category 2 and Category 3 conditions across the shoreline. The hurricane will be moving towards the northeast at 20 miles per hour during the day, spreading hurricane conditions across all of South Florida, Category 1 at least. Some areas mainly south of the center will be getting Category 2, and some isolated spots in the southern eye wall will see Category 3 conditions. Great concern for storm surge from this hurricane. With a forecast track, the center passing near Marco Island, there could be on the order of 7 feet of storm surge in Naples to near 10 feet in Marco Island, up to 15 feet in Everglades City, and higher surges to the south in, in mainly the unpopulated areas. As the system comes ashore, we're going to expect the winds to spread all the way to the southeastern coast in the next few hours, the hurricane conditions. And we also have a risk today of isolated tornadoes, particularly ahead of the eye wall and to the north. We have also some concern for what's going to be occurring when the center passes over the shoreline. With a large eye, there's going to be a temptation when the winds die down for people to go outside. This is not the time to go out. We encourage you to stay indoors. Like many of the historical hurricanes, people um, are injured or even killed on the back side of the hurricane because they don't realize how fast the winds will increase again from near calm to hurricane force in just a matter of minutes. That calm area is likely to spread over uh, portions of perhaps northern Miami-Dade County, Broward, and into Palm Beach County. So conditions are deteriorating rapidly in the southeastern part of the state. The Florida Keys are having hurricane force winds now, and the conditions will become worse there in terms of storm surge because on the back side is where they'll get the winds blowing Florida Bay towards the lower Keys and then towards Florida Bay or from Florida Bay into the middle and upper Keys as well. And, uh, downtown Naples, and what, what we're doing is we're moving along uh, US 41, which is an area that cuts right through Naples. And I have to tell you, in terms of the conditions that we're seeing out here right now, uh, just a little while ago when we were stationary, we were trying to get uh, Hurricane 1 up and running, and one of the gusts was, was so strong, so powerful, shook the car, rocking it back and forth, my photographer, Walter, looked at me with one of those sort of uncomfortable smiles, and we knew things were getting very, very serious. Had an opportunity to speak to the mayor. He told us that he believes most of the people in Naples at this point have evacuated. That is certainly good news for the people here in Naples, because as you drive along US-41 at this point, you can really get a sense of just how powerful Hurricane Wilma is. We've seen a number of... Uh, down trees, which you see oftentimes through these types of things. We're moving very slowly at this point because there's a tree right in front of us, so we're moving around it. We've also seen down power poles. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be following uh, the hurricane as it moves east. We're going to be uh, taking uh, US-41 as slowly and just as carefully as we can as Hurricane Wilma hits Florida. Okay, uh, David. David's in Naples. Uh, David, what do you got over there? What's going on right now? Uh, we're getting uh, heavy wind. I say it's probably gusting to about 80. Uh, all the power's out. Uh, the sky's really flashing up. I'm not sure if it's lightning or if it is uh, transformers blowing. Wow. Now, what are you, uh, what's your wind direction right now? Uh, looks like it's coming. Uh, let's say it's coming out of the east. Coming out Southeast? of the east, yeah, right, right. That's what I, that's what I figured because I'm looking at the Naples radar right now, and it's uh, it, it's pinwheeling in from the uh, east to the west. So you're getting offshore winds right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you're gonna you're gonna miss the calm. It looks like the calm is gonna go just south of you, or that you might just briefly get in the calm. Yeah. Uh, but you've dodged the any surge potential, I think. Uh, the, the, later on, when the eye passes, you're going to get some surge in there, but not probably not as nearly as what they're going to get to the south. Yeah. So you've dodged the the storm surge, so you're going to be okay where you are. I, I was worried about that yesterday where you were located, but uh, now it looks like. Uh, in fact, let me pull this radar up so people can see this. Um, we're talking with David. He's in Naples, and uh, there's our live radar image and. Um, uh, now you said the power's out. Have you heard anything like ripping apart, or you you hear things banging around outside? Uh, not really. Uh, not like we did during Charlie. You can tell the uh, the wind's really pumping through here, and 
you can use some stuff earlier that was banging around, but uh, after broken windows or any anything like that, uh, no, it's just really, really super windy. Okay, uh, let me warn you now. We have rotation on the radar on a very, very strong cell that's developed on the northeast, northwest quadrant of the hurricane, and that's mm -hmm. going to be pinwheeling in off the gulf uh, towards you coming from, and your winds are going to shift around to the northwest. Okay. But this is a very intense band, and it's got rotation in it. They're indicating there's tornadic cells in there, and that's pinwheeling towards you in Naples right now. It's going to be there in about maybe 20 minutes. Well, so you yeah. guys, you you haven't. What you're about to get is going to be really something. Yeah. Uh, so you better uh, take cover. Um, you know, shortly here. I mean, this this band is pinwheeling in, and you, when this thing hits you, man, you're going to be. Yeah. It is deep. The deep. Let me put it to you this way: all the on the all quadrants of the hurricane right now, it's basically dark yellows on the radar. But this is a band that's deep red coming at you from the uh, Gulf, uh, from the northwest pinwheeling yeah. in on the back side of the eye wall, so you're going to get hammered here. Okay. So brace yourself. If you know anybody, tell them to get away from the windows. Everything's going to get real bad here shortly. Okay. Uh, definite rotation. This is one of those cells that they talk about around the eye wall that causes all that destruction. That's what this is coming at you. Okay. So um, I'll tell you what. Call, call me back and like, you know, when this is yeah. happening. It should yeah. happen 15, 20 minutes. And, and okay. give, me, give me a call. All right, Jim. All right. Okay. Okay, all right. David. Thanks a lot. All right, that's David in Naples. Uh, that big red band is what I'm talking about there on the radar. Look at that thing. It's pinwheeling in. Unbelievable. Uh, let's go back to the networks here, see what they got going. Just been uh, beating us all night, and now, like you said, switching more to the... Uh... Now, this is Bill Becker in US1 Radio, by the way. He was one of the guys I was going to call next, but I'm already getting the interview on uh, on television, so there's no use in rehashing it with him again. But uh, I might call him a little bit later on. Uh, but if you're listening from Naples or Fort Myers area or, uh, well, not Fort Myers, but if you're listening from Naples, Marco Island, Marco should be in the calm right now. But don't let that, don't let your guard down, folks. Look at the backside of this thing, that red band that's pinwheeling in here. Look at this red band, and that's going to be coming on shore, and that's going to be ferocious northwest winds and northerly winds, uh, tornadic activity in there, so uh, batten down the hatches or get away from your windows if you're in that area. All right, let's check on Mark Smith's cam real quick here. Uh, Hurricane Live Net, and there's the trees whipping around. Um, yeah, you see the trees whipping around. Oh, just went out. He's trying to connect, reconnect. Uh, he's going to have some problems here coming up. Uh, things are really uh, turning for the worst over there in Naples. All his other cams aren't streaming. Um, yeah, there's one streaming. Uh, southwest, let's see if this one's going. Hmm. No, that one's not going. Yeah, it's still too dark, really, to see what's going on. Let's check our cam outside. Uh, just wanted to touch on that real quick. Uh, there's our live cam. Again, it's still too dark, but you'll see power transformers blowing. Or, you know, Every once in a while, you'll see something out there like that. Okay, our winds are out of the east-southeast at 36, and uh, we, we just had a high gust of... Uh, um, our high gust has now been 46 miles an hour, and uh, that's our cam outside. The trees are whipping around. When it gets a little lighter out, you'll be able to see this cam a little bit better. It's still too dark at the moment. Relentlessly, relentlessly pounding us. Weather well, fast still about 80 miles an hour, and it uh, looks like it's starting to turn more onshore. Uh, still at a slight angle. Right. Um, uh, is your, your wind still the strongest they've been, or are they weakening a little bit? Uh, every bit is strong. Every bit is strong. Are you uh, anticipating a lot of damage out there based on everything you've been seeing? Oh, uh, well, we didn't, we didn't hear anything breaking up. We heard a lot of thumps, like trees falling over and smell in the air of, like, uh, fresh-cut pine trees. Right, right. Yeah, that's uh, that's about what, uh, what I would anticipate. A lot of trees are going to be down. But, you know, the worst is not over yet. Don't let your guard down because you still have the bands out over the ocean. They have to pinwheel in from the west. And uh, there could still be a lot of tornadic activity in there, so I would be uh, very careful. Okay. But um, you're you're looking good. The eye is just to your east now, and uh, it's it's over. Uh, it's generally right over. Um, 
probably Hendry County right now. Um, yeah, I would say it's right over Hendry County, moving into Hendry County, just to your east. Uh, um, I'm sorry, not Hendry County. Um, uh, in, in Collier County, uh, just to your west, um, in, western, in the eastern parts of Collier County is where the center of the eye is right now. So it's to your, to your east, and it's moving uh, towards the east coast now. Okay. So, um... All right, well, call us back if you have any damage reports or anything going on over there. Uh, so far, it looks like you're not getting it as bad as we had anticipated, but, they, again, the jury is still out because when you get out and start looking around at the damage, it's a whole different story. Okay, Jim. All right, good. David, thanks a lot. All right, bye now. Yeah, and he got caught in one of these, so it's, it's pretty bad in the back, too. It'll be worse in the front, but even in the back... Uh, Unfortunately, it's going to be with us even as the storm passes over. The good thing is, is it's moving It's moving at 23 miles an hour now, and it's consistently moving faster. Mm -hmm. So as it moves through our area, it may actually be picking up a couple more miles per hour. So uh, the 10, 11 o'clock advisory, this could be moving easily 25, 26 miles an hour. So uh, the back end impact will be, will be uh, a shorter duration than right. the front end impact. And the front end, the front end impact... Uh, with the, with the, uh, the winds that are supplying those power outages and possible damage to trees and property, that's really short-lived. We're talking two to three hours uh, of damaging winds ahead of the eye, and, and it's certainly, at, at the rate we're going here and the, and the forward momentum of the hurricane, less duration of that behind it. So, I, I liked yesterday when you all were giving people an idea, okay, worse weather from, you know, 8 to 2 or 8 to right. 3 or whatever. What do you say that estimate is now? Same timeline. Same. 9 to noon. Nothing, nothing has really changed yet. 9 to noon, our worst weather. Afternoon, uh, the eyes will be working offshore. It'll be weakening in the interim, but it'll be pushing offshore. And again, it's going to be picking up that forward momentum. So by 2, 3, 4 o'clock, uh, the clouds may break. And then, uh, Steve said last night, some of us may see the sunset. It, it is possible. Yeah. It's going to be a pretty amazing day. But we're, we'll all make it through this. Uh, no question about that. It's just that uh, we got about... Uh, okay, we have uh, one of our observers on the phone. There's our radio. Hello. Elliot. Yes. Jim from Hurricane City. Yes. Uh, we're getting pretty pounded here, but I, I imagine you guys are getting it worse. You have a heck of a squall line coming in there right now. What are your conditions? Well, uh, it's very, very windy. I'm registering uh, gusts of, oh, I think, over 80 miles an hour. Okay, and it's, uh, are you watching a radar? Yes, I am. Yeah, and you see that orange about ready to move into your area there. Yes, I do, and I also see the eye of the storm might pass over us. Yeah, you might get the calm there. Right. Uh, looks like it's probably going to come right over uh, northern Broward and Palm Beach County. The eye is going to pass right over that area. Well, I'm in Weston, which is a little bit uh, south of, of where, where you might see that squall line. Mm -hmm. Weston is like central western Broward County. Right, right. Well, I'm looking at the latest uh, radar image here from uh, 8.04 Eastern Time, and it's showing this red blob right at the uh, central Broward County uh, pinwheeling in from Dade. And okay. uh, so it's, I mean, it, it should be getting worse there in the next uh, 30 minutes. All right. Well, I, I certainly appreciate that heads up. I'll go back to the radar and uh, check out what's going on. But it's uh, pretty hairy over here. It's a lot hairier than I thought it would get. Yeah, it, it's, uh, and it's going to get worse here. Uh, you're going to be really amazed here in the next 30 minutes how strong those winds get, probably up around 100 miles an hour. Well, I've got about uh, four trees down on the property, and uh, I've got my uh, screening that's taking a little bit of a beating. Uh, the frame isn't down yet, but uh, we've got some panels out. Well, good luck to you. Now, hunker down. If it gets real bad, stay in the center of your house. Okay, I appreciate the call. Okay, Elliot, good luck to you. All right, All right. you Bye too. Now. All right. All right, that's Elliot, our observer in uh, Weston. And uh, we got Chris and Sunrise. Uh, let me see if that number... Uh, Cynthia Zimmerman's in Plantation. Let me go ahead and pull her up because that might be one that... Oh, hitting the deck right now. I mean, this is really bad over here right now. Um, so we're going to let you watch it. We're going to watch uh, watch our cam outside. There it is. We're going to flip back and forth. Look at the trees. I mean, I just went out there. There's foliage down all over the place. I'm st still surprised that palm tree is holding up in the southwest corner there. But uh, it is really, really whipping out here, folks. Um, unbelievable. Uh, it's going to get worse here in the next... Uh, when it, <laughs> this thing pinwheels into Delray and... Uh, it is going to be really bad.
going to let you loose, and uh, we have uh, the, the howling of the wind is just ferocious. Uh, you probably even hear it in the house here, but uh, we'll leave the mic open for you. My father on the line, Joe Williams, he's in Hallandale Beach, southern southeastern Broward County, and we have strong bands pinwheeling into there right now. Uh, Dad, what, what kind of winds are you, you getting out there? Is this the worst, or has it been worse before, or is uh, well, what are you saying I, there? I think right now we're going through the worst part of it. The wind is now coming from the southwest, and it's blowing trees, branches, everything. Um, it's raining like crazy, and um, so far we all I've seen is some uh, tree branches blown off, and of course we're you know covered in the house, but I have a big picture window in the front that's right. protected by my porch, so I can look out and see what's happening, and it's a mess out there, and it's going to get worse because we're going to start getting the back end of it. I don't think the eye wall went directly over us, but we're no. getting the total fringe completely, so right. it's a constant constant wind and rain and I'm looking at the 30 mile an hour sign uh, across the street and it's waving like it's going to go down any minute. There's power lines blowing so far I haven't seen any uh, any poles down and we haven't had any tornadoes as of yet but there's always that possibility and um, for, right. we're without powers there's you know 400,000 houses without power. We're one of them. 400,000? Is that what you heard? Yes, that's what I heard. Yeah. yeah, we're just monitoring the live cam up in the tower. I don't have the TV stations going because I want people to watch what's happening here as these squall lines come through live on the camera in the tower. And this whole tower is shaking. It's swaying back and forth. The trees are bending like crazy outside. There's a lot of foliage laying around out there. Um, across the street, they lost a bunch of foliage in their uh, yard. Um, wind gusts, let me just see. Barbara, can you grab that flashlight? i got to see the monitor. I can't see my uh, wind measurements here. Um, okay, we're talking with Joe Williams, my father. He's in Hallandale, and they're uh, they're getting whipped uh, like everybody else in Broward is right now, just getting pounded. you got southwest winds. I'm looking at, uh, of course, I can't see because it's so dark in here. Uh, I'm looking at still south southeast winds here, around yes. 40 gusting to 70. Yes, but I, I feel right now that I'm we're seeing winds of 80 to 90 miles an hour. I don't have an anemometer. However, you can tell by the way the trees are bending that we're getting these extremely strong gusts of uh, wind and rain right now. We just had a gust of 74. Did you? And uh, that's that's oh, it's just about a hurricane force, 74 mile. That is hurricane force, 74 yes. mile an hour winds. Yes. Yes. And you, you're probably getting a little stronger because I see the yellows in your area, and we're, we don't have any yellows here in Delray right now, so I'd imagine you got it quite a bit stronger. Oh, yes, um, yes. You're probably around 90, gusting to 90 right now, uh, based I, on what, what the radar is showing. Yes, um, I believe that, yeah. And it, it, you might get in the calm. I mean, see, now it's lifting to the north of you, the worst weather. There's nothing south of you coming out of Miami that's that very intense, mm -hmm. at least in the short term. Uh, the eye is located like right over the uh, Dade, not the Dade, it's the Broward, Palm Beach, uh, the four counties where they intersect, Dade, Bra uh, Broward, Palm Beach County, uh, Collier oh, yeah. County, and right. the eye is right smack dab over the middle of them moving into Palm Beach County right now. Right. So you might get the southern portion, but I doubt it. You're probably not going to get the eye there in probably South Broward. Probably not. That, that's why I say it's just been a constant, constant thing ever since, like, uh, uh, 4 o'clock this morning. Mm -hmm. And I feel it's going to continue to go until this thing blows over because we are right on the fringe of the eye, and that's where the strongest winds are. 
so I'm sure we're getting gusts of better than 80 miles an hour. Right. Did you see this cam shot? I mean, it's the, the tower swaying back and forth, and believe unbelievably, that palm tree in front is still standing. The uh, queen palm, that big tall that's one, and that's amazing. the one. I'm, that's, <laughs> that's the one amazing. I'm worried is going to fall on the house because right. they're so fragile. Those queen palms, and so far right. it's standing up to the wind, but uh, 75 miles an hour, and the worst is yet to come in here yet. Yeah, you know, I think your that's worst has passed you, Bob. Well, I, I don't want to say that quite yet. There's See, I'm looking at two different radar screens here. Let me switch images so people can see what I'm. This is called the. Uh, this is this uh, Billerica radar, which is some guy that has a special program that refreshes radars and shows the rotation in the thunderstorms. Mm -hmm. And his uh, radar is not showing any rotation at this time. And then I'm looking at another radar, which is a weather tap radar, and that's showing more oranges and reds that are pinwheeling into uh, North Broward now. And they're going to be coming into Deerfield Beach and uh, just pounding those areas. So, right. Um, you might, you may have gotten the worst temporarily. Temporarily, but I feel, you know we're going to get the back end the of the back end. Too. Right. Back and, end. Uh, well, uh, all I want to say is I wish everybody to stay inside. Do not try to venture out in this, even during the eye, because mm -hmm. I just heard uh, on the TV on my little portable that there's been one death reported in uh, Coral Springs. A tree, oh. fell on, tree fell on a guy. Okay, yeah, that exactly. Yep, that's why I'm afraid to go outside right now because of that big palm, palm tree would come crushing down. <laughs> right, no, you oh. don't want that to happen. We want to keep you around for a lot of years, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm staying indoors. I know you guys are staying in, and we got a light, ways to go yet here. This um, Sean. Is Sean with you? Yes, he is. He's sleeping right now. He's sleeping. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, yeah. He came over yeah, last came, night. He came yeah. over last yeah. night. And uh, okay, so they, it's not obviously not loud enough to get him out of bed. No. <laughs> uh, we've got several roof leaks uh, in our kitchen. Uh, oh. So I imagine some of the shingles probably blew off because we have leaks where we've never had leaks before. So uh, right. anticipating uh, some shingles caught on the roof. Right. Uh, you have a tile roof on your house, so no, you... we don't. We have a we have a uh, uh, shingle roof. Oh, that's right. You house. you had yeah. that replaced, or right? Something. We had it replaced about right. four years ago. Right, but right, it right. Seems to be holding up pretty well. Of course, I can't tell because I can't get outside and look at it. But mm. uh, what I'm mainly concerned, I had this uh, 50 foot ficus tree in my side yard, and that's the tree that I'm worried about that could fall and hit our house. So. Right. But the wind's coming in now from the south and the east, or I'm sorry, south and the west, so it's going to blow the tree toward the ocean rather than toward the house. <laughs> right. Because our house faces the north. Right. Right, and, yeah, yeah, your winds probably are south, right, and south, south, southwest, I would say, and it's a good thing we got those shutters up there yesterday because all that oh, yeah. wind is coming in now from the south, and it's going to really, and then it'll be more west as the day progresses. Right, yes, definitely. And then, and then once this thing passes through, like around noontime, and gets out of here, the winds are going to be howling out of the west. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Dad, let me let, hey, you, let, me let you go and, uh, you know, stay safe and uh, call me if anything yeah, dramatic well, happens over right. there. All right, I love to you guys. Hey, hi, right. Barb, and okay. uh, we'll talk to you later. All right, you guys okay. stay. Tell them I said hello over there. Okay, I okay. sure will. Be All right, fine. Bye. All right, that was my father, Joe Williams. He's in Hallandale Beach, and uh, they got pounded with the same band we're just about to get here in, in uh, southeastern Palm Beach County. And Boca Raton, people in that area, you're going to get hammered here very shortly. There's a tremendous gust coming in here, and uh, I fully anticipate that this is going to be quite a... Uh, you know what, folks, let me, uh, I'm just going to switch, because with the cam running, I can't have the radio on, so I'm going to switch sources here, try to get some uh, radio on for you, so uh, hold on just one minute.
western edge of the eye wall will start to impact uh, Naples and Fort Myers. Uh, for you in the Keys, no more rainfall. The back end of the system is very dry right now, but the winds are still whipping across, and it'll probably be, uh, I would say, maybe early afternoon by the time everything clears out in the Keys and conditions will improve dramatically. But for the rest of the area, I think it'll probably be maybe three or four, maybe a little later, before everything starts to uh, get better in miami Dade and Broward counties. Now, these are some of the uh, wind speeds that are being clocked right now. Uh, some of these reports are a little dubious. I'm afraid that some of these reporting stations may be down. But uh, 46 miles per hour right now in Deerfield Beach, 66 in Fort Lauderdale, Miami with 49, and uh, gusting as high up as 67 in Deerfield Beach, 87 in Fort Lauderdale, Miami going as high as 91 miles per hour. We still have about another 15 or 20 minutes of this intense activity for all along the coast between Deerfield Beach and uh, Coconut Grove as the eastern edge of the eye wall makes its way into the Atlantic. And then things should settle down. And uh, Christine and Richard were just mentioning about the eye actually going over the Miami-Dade, Broward metropolitan areas. Things are going to calm down, and you're going to get a little antsy. You're going to want to try to see what the conditions your property is in. This is not the time to do it. Please, there are electrical cables that are down. Okay, folks, uh, we are back. We had uh, the generator fail during the height of the storm. We had winds around 90 miles per hour here in Delray Beach, and we have debris all over the neighborhood. But look out there at the cam shot, folks. Our palm tree is still up out front. Uh, people are walking around. We have the eye over us right now. The, the sun is even trying to peek out. We have a pressure right now of uh, our pressure is uh, 28.20 inches. So we are right near the eye. The eye is <clears throat> basically over us. Um, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to upload the latest uh, weather data from our uh, Davis 3 or Davis, uh, Davis 2 wireless station. And we are going to... Uh, uh, upload that right now, and then the back side of this eye should be coming in, and we're going to show you some images of what that looks like. You notice people walking around the neighborhood checking out that we got probably the most damage here at our house. We have about probably 30% uh, of our shingles are out uh, off the roof. Uh, we have our fence blown down. We have trees down all around our house. I mean, there's going to be quite a bit of cleanup in this neighborhood. There's a big, huge ficus tree that's down. Um, it, the neighborhood's a wreck. Let me, it's much worse than we got from Hurricanes uh, Jean and Francis here in Delray Beach. And um, it's, uh, we're in the eye. There it is. Look at the trees. Not even moving anymore. And then we're going to record as the back side of the eye comes in. You hardly ever get to see the eye of a hurricane, and we're in it right now. Okay, folks, uh, here you have it. We're in the eye of Hurricane Wilma. It's August, uh, October 24th at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Time here in southeastern Palm Beach County, Delray Beach. Notice how still the trees are, but look at the dark clouds in the south. That's the back side of the eye wall. This is what it looks like in the eye of a hurricane, and we are in it. It's not the clearest eye in the world, but nevertheless, we're in the eye of the hurricane, and notice the winds are starting to bend now to the west as the back side of this eye wall comes in. Okay, folks, there's the backside of Hurricane Wilma now coming in here. Look at those. Whoa. That was a gust of, and we have a problem up on the tower because apparently the uh, one of the guy wire cables snapped, and it's tangled. Uh, it is tangled in the anemometer, and now the anemometer is not even reading anything, so I have no idea what the wind gust is out of the west. Because one of those anemometer wire, uh, one of the uh, guy wire cables snapped. But anyway, you can see the cam. Um, I'm going to bring it back to WFOR, and while we're doing that, I'm going to pull up uh, Craig uh, in Fort Lauderdale our, uh, and uh, over to our server in Sunrise and Plantation. What happened and there? Coral Springs, uh, Deerfield Beach, uh, uh, Coconut Creek, oh Margaret, gosh. Pompano. I think something just Lauderdale, happened on the tower. I'm going to have to find uh, out about Lauderdale that. Lauderdale by the sea. Let's see if we still have an image here. Yeah, there's a lot of things hitting this house, I'll tell you that much. Uh, there's the shot out there. Notice all the debris in the street, but. Uh, all right, let's, let's uh, go ahead, and I'm going to try to make a phone call here. It's getting better. Hold on one minute. Northern Miami-Dade County, I'm sure it's still blowing and raining, but once you get down to eight, most south of Tamiami Trail is in... Okay, uh, we have a problem on the tower. Apparently, a uh, guy wire cable may have snapped and got tangled in the cups. Um, and uh, it may not be giving us accurate readings at this time. 
We had a gust around 90 miles an hour. We have about a third of our shingles ripped off the roof. Uh, we have the, the roof uh, ventilation device is gone, I believe. A fence is down, trees down all over the neighborhood. It's, it's a complete wreck here. The power is out. We're on generator power. Uh, there's our cam in the tower. Uh, holding up relatively well with gusts from 90, 100 miles an hour. We still have the backside uh, eye wall to come through here yet, and that's going to be coming up shortly. Uh, again, let's bring it back to WFOR, and uh, we'll make, make an observer on the line. Created and actually pulled in in the circulation. The clouds are actually being created much further north, pulled in the circulation. And eventually, they'll clear on out, and then dry and very cool air uh, will come in behind it. But but it's just going to take a while for that to happen. It's still going to be breezy. It's not the breeze isn't going to quit. It's just that you know, the rain, for the most part, is going to quit. It'll be some light rain mist in the air uh, with those clouds. But it won't be this ferocious wind that we have going on in Broward County right now. And uh, it'll be just more, and, and it'll slowly, slowly, slowly uh, just die down to a, to a manageable level. Because this cold front is coming, it's not going to quit. You know, if, if we didn't have a hurricane and this cold front was coming, it would be breezy behind it. Quite breezy, actually. So it, it's just going to get into that kind of weather regime, and we'll be out of the hurricane weather regime. Uh, and uh, certainly emergency services in South Bay already, in can, or Central and South Bay, can go about the down. process of seeing uh, what's happened uh, very soon in North Bay. Okay. And all this. I'm sorry. Go ahead again. Um, we're in the middle of the hurricane right now, and the phone lines where he's at are down. Yeah, we're having the same problem. We're here in Delray Beach, and uh, we've taken quite a hit up here. I have a, about a third of the shingles gone off the roof, trees That's down. Where we're at too. We're in Delray. We're in we're in the Delray area also. Yeah, so you're you're probably close by. Where are you located exactly? We're, the station you called is off Jog. Off Jog Road. Okay. So Atlantic and Lynn. Atlantic and Linton. Okay, I'm near Linton and I-95, and right. we've uh, our wind measurements measured about 90 miles an hour. Okay. Uh, that was around nine nine to 10 a.m. this morning. What is it now? Uh, right now we're average. Well, we're having a problem because one of the guy wires snapped on the tower and it's getting tangled in the cups. Right. So we're we're right now we're measuring about 50. Uh, we're in the last 20 minutes we've seen more wind here than even before. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're looking at that radar, and it appears to be pinwheeling up from Broward County uh, from the west, and okay. uh, we're going to get hammered here shortly. Okay. What kind of damage you guys have around there? We're, we're decent. You de really haven't gone out and done any assessments yet, but, uh, we, you know, if you do that, you saw we're at a one right now, but like I said, this this wind right here seems worse than the first, the front half, so wow. I'm not sure what's going on. Are you guys getting a lot of emergency calls, people yeah, frantic? we're dead in the water until, it, until this passes. Right, right. All right, well, I'll let you go. I know you guys are busy. I'd like to follow up when this is all done and see what kind of calls you got and what what people had to well, uh, the emergency. Greg is the guy to speak to, but oh. he's just we're not he's not available right now. Right. Okay. okay. All right. I appreciate your time. No Thank you very much. Bye. All right. All right. That was the Delray uh, Delray Police uh, Delray Fire Rescue, and uh, they're out of Jog Road, and they're reporting a very high wind from the back side of the eye. And again, we're we're sitting here watching this uh, tower cam here. Um, whipping, whipping around. Uh, look at the trees. They're basically stripped uh, almost of all their leaves. But amazingly, uh, it's holding up. You know, this is what's really amazing about all this is the, uh, the tower's holding up. It shakes a lot. shakes like crazy. But the trees are uh, holding. They're still standing. I'm waiting for one of them to snap like a fishing pole. And they're, they're continuing to, to take the wind. But notice the debris. You see, now look across the street there. You see that yard across there? That had a big fence all the way around it. The fence is completely gone. Um, there's roof shingles all over the streets. You, you just can't see them in the tower right now, but uh, it is, uh, there is just d destruction all over the place. I don't see any whole roof failures or anything like that, but a lot of people have. Any foliage, fences, anything loose out there is really getting blown in very bad.
Okay, just wanted to interrupt that and show you this cam shot again. We have uh, very severe uh, winds coming in from the west. Uh, let's go ahead and, and watch this for a while here. And uh, go ahead and record some of these high winds. Again, this is the back side of the eye wall now coming in. There's the west winds. Uh, notice those pine trees are basically stripped now. You know, the, the view we used to have before uh, was kind of obstructed by those big pine trees. Now look at them. They're all stripped. The fence across the street is gone. Uh, it, it's, it's just bad out there. It really is. Uh, our winds right now, uh, 50 miles an hour, gusting to 70 on the back side of this eye. And again, we have a guy wire that's tangled in the cups outside. Whoa, look at that gust. Wow. Look at that trees bending. Um, again, 50 mile an hour winds right there. Um, the what's happening is that we have a guy wire that's tangled. It, it broke. Uh, the the south to north guy wire snapped, and it's wrapping around the tower. And a little bit of it's getting caught in the cups. I hope it doesn't destroy the instruments. But uh, you know we're going to have to rethink this whole uh, setup here when this is all said and done. And, you know this is a Category Two hurricane hitting us right here from the southwest, and I can only imagine if a Cat Three or Four came in here from the east. We're only a mile inland. Uh, there's a good gust, 53 miles an hour, um, sustained, 58, and gusting now to wow, whole house is shaking. Um, look at that cam moving around. There's 54 miles an hour, 49. Uh, again, there's more debris out in the road now than there was before. Look at that gust. Uh, and keep in mind, these trees don't really have much attached to them anymore, and they're bending like that. Uh, you know what? I don't see our palm tree there anymore. I'm hoping that thing didn't disappear. Uh, the palm tree is out of the picture now. I'm hoping that thing didn't fall over. Um, I'm going to go check on that right now. Let me bring you back to WFOR, see what's going on there. Oh, we're recording here. Let me uh, okay, let's uh, turn this off for one minute. Leave you back to WFOR. about as bad out there as I have seen it uh, since the beginning of this hurricane. Uh, there was just a big, huge branch, uh, a humongous branch that was being flown across the street. Uh, look at some of these gusts here, folks. Take a look at some. Look, take a look at this wind coming in here. Uh, again, this is the back side of the eye wall of Hurricane um, Wilma here. And uh, I went out to go out and look out front, and I couldn't open the front door. It was ready to yank it right out of my hand. Uh-oh, I just heard something cracking out there. Boy, this is bad, folks. Uh, there's going to be a lot of cleanup after this one. Um, again, we're, we have that guy wire tangled in the cups. We don't know if these readings are accurate. Uh, we're seeing 50 to 70 in the last couple of minutes. Um, you can watch that tower cam. Uh, blowing in the wind. Again, we're not live broadcasting here because we've lost our uh, DSL connection, but we are recording this for the archive subscribers. And uh, some of those gusts there, uh, that's uh, 45, 59. Okay, there. Again, we're on the back side of the eye wall, and the winds are whipping out of the west. Um, a 
a lot of debris out there in the streets. Okay, again, we're allowing you to look at this live cam shot from our tower cam. It's 40 feet up in the air, aiming south. And I just heard that the Palm Beach County uh, uh, Emergency Management uh, Building has, uh, the, the tower is has been destroyed there and knocked over. Our tower is still standing here. And uh, the die wire is what's throwing us all off on our, our wind measurements, but We'll have to wait and see uh, what the readings were out of the west when it's all said and done. But, again, 52 miles an hour. Again, you know, you can have these gusts of wind, and they can miss. They could be 100 feet away from the tower and be stronger, or they can be lower or higher above the ground. And they come in gusts. They don't, it's not sustained. It just comes and goes. There's a good gust. Um, and every time one of these gusts hits the house, the whole building shakes. Um, of course, we have the accordion shutters on all the windows, but uh, some of these gusts are pretty tremendous. All right, look at that, folks. It's almost like whiteout conditions out there right now. Look at that wind. And we're running on generator power here, filming this as it's happening. And we've got a lot of debris out there. And look at that. Look at that wind blowing across there. It's the first good amount of rain I've seen here. Okay, well, there's some real good gusts. There's 60. Um... It is really, of course. We again, we got that guy wire stuck in there, so we don't really know what's happening out there. It's uh, 55, 44, 51. These instruments are 33 feet above the ground. They're calibrated uh, Davis II weather instruments, but uh, we don't know if the, how much that guy wire is interrupting with the cups up there. But I do know that when the winds were out of the south, there was no interference of the cups. Um, okay, it's a little let up here. All right, there, look at that. It's almost like whiteout out there right now. Look at that. Tower is shaking like crazy, but it's holding up. The tower is sustaining itself. Tremendous gusts. Oh, unbelievable. Look at this gust coming up here. Very strong band from the west. Okay, there's a good gust. Yeah, I think our cups are definitely, there's something wrong because it showed zero miles an hour there, and I think we're tangled in the guy wires. Um, again, 45, 50 miles an hour, and that, that's with, with a guy wire tangled in it, so that wind is really howling out there. 50, 50 sustain.
Yeah, there was a good gust. That one palm tree, that one pine tree, almost bent over double there. We were going to flip it over to WFOR and watch a little more news, but look at some of these gusts coming in here. I just wanted to show you this on live video here. Uh, look, at there's almost like whiteout conditions out there right now. Incredible. You have trouble standing up out there right now, folks, believe me. It's going to be interesting to see how much roof damage we have in uh, Broward and Palm Beach County after this is all said and done. And even into Dade, I've heard there's quite a bit of damage down in the Doral area and all, all northeastern Dade County. I'm going to tell you this is going to be in the billions, uh, the, the damage from this hurricane. There's no doubt about it. Look at this. Wow. Look at these conditions, folks. Look at that cam. Oh, there was a good gust. Again, almost practically white out conditions outside. Incredible. We're going to be listening to them by phone. By telephone, they've got an update for us. So let's listen in to the PBC EOC. Beach area. Uh, it is anticipated, hopefully, by around 5 o'clock this evening, the tropical force winds will be exiting the Palm Beach County area. At that time, our damage assessment teams are going to be out in the field as quickly as possible. I'd like to give you some preliminary uh, damage assessments. Um, there is a boil water order in effect now immediately for Riviera Beach and Highland Beach. Uh, we have significant power outages. Approximately 90% of Palm Beach County currently is without power. There has been reported several water main breaks uh, throughout Palm Beach County. We are asking all residents to please, please conserve water. It's absolutely important uh, that you avoid the unnecessary use of water. We are also been advised at South Bay uh, public safety facilities, the Pokey and Belgrade facilities have suffered structural damage. 
Glades General Hospital has no generator. The Boca Raton Hospital in the uh, early morning hours, the eye of the storm, uh, lost their generators, lost the uh, the main doors to their emergency rooms. Uh, however, the generators are back and running, and they have been able to secure the emergency room. Uh, just recently, we've been advised that the western door, the large door at the special care facility, uh, is starting to cave in. The fire rescue vehicles have been moved in to reinforce the door and protect it from the westerly winds that uh, we're currently experiencing. Palm Beach County. Okay, there you have it. Here's that band coming in now. Tremendous. We're going to see if those pine trees hold up in this beating. They, they held up for the first round of Hurricane Wilma. Let's see if they hold up in the second round. And as many of you all know here that have been working at the EOC Center, about 24 cars that were parked in front of the emergency operating center were severely damaged this morning as a result of uh, the rocks that were uh, blown onto the vehicles. Uh, a lot of vehicles were completely totaled. Uh, majority of the vehicles, all the windows have been blown out. Um, you know, our employees are working here, and the county has assured those employees that we will work with them to to assist them in the recovery efforts of their cars. Um, I would now like to uh, ask Max Macon from FPNL. Okay, that was an update from uh, the WPBT, uh, PTV TV in West Palm Beach, and uh, with an update of uh, a lot of damage happening right now and a lot of emergency stuff going on. Uh, look at all the debris out in the street outside here. Our tower cam has been buffeting and shaking and vibrating and having things pummeling it, and it's holding up. Uh, a lot of people have asked me, what category hurricane do you think that tower could withstand? And so far it's withstanding this, and it withstood Jean and Francis. But uh, we'll see. We still have the worst fan yet to come through here. Storm is is more fierce than the front side. At least that's what we've heard from our folks on the west coast and, and from uh, numerous people in this area. Uh, so stay safe and continue to call the 1-800 number if you see down power lines. There's, there's really no need at this point to call and report an outage. Uh, we're pretty, pretty much aware of, uh, of the outages, and uh, we'd like to keep people from calling the 1-800 number to report outages. Only call the number if you uh, see a down power line. Thanks. Thank you, man. Uh, this time I'd like to introduce the delighted deputy uh, fire administrator that uh, really has some really uh, important information regarding fire rescue response and some fire rescue situations. Thank you, Vince. Um, throughout the county, a number of the fire rescue uh, providers are re responded during the eye of the hurricane. Uh, for a lot of the county, we still have half a hurricane to go. Uh, we are receiving at least initial reports unconfirmed of um, at least a couple of fatalities associated with the storm, people who went out during the eye and attempted to um, uh, get some things done. Again, what Vince said a while ago is, is so important. Stay in your homes. Uh, there is, I, I was out during the eye. There's a lot of debris on the roads. There are no street lights that, that are working, traffic lights, um, and it's going to be very dangerous after, this, uh, after the storm passes through. Um, <clears throat> a number of people we found uh, did not heed the warning to evacuate their mobile homes. Uh, we're currently uh, attempting to work a number of calls for those mobile homes have been um, been overturned and people are trapped inside. Uh, as soon as we can get crews out to those people, we're, we'll, we will do so. Uh, so again, just you know, just urge urge everyone who's listening to, to stay in their homes after the storm. It's going to be a good 24 hours after the winds subside for the assessment teams and the providers to get out and do the rescues and, and, and try to get things going again. So, thank you. Okay, you heard it. We've got people injured, trapped in their trailers. We've got people trapped in their homes to the hospital. They're trying to hold back the glass from... I mean, this is just... 
And, you know, we warned people about this for days on the live broadcast, how bad this was going to be in South Florida, and uh, I got pretty upset about it on a few nights, and, and people just don't listen. They don't, you know, they think it has to come from the east to be bad, and they think it has to be a major hurricane to be bad. And these, these are Category 2 conditions we're experiencing right now, and there's a lot of problems going on in Broward and in Palm Beach County. They got hit earlier. They're pretty much in the clear, but there's been a lot of damage in all three counties, and there's going to be a long cleanup with this, but uh, again, you're looking at the live cam shot. Those palm pine trees have been holding up, but across the street, the fence is completely gone. Debris all in the street. Our shingles here probably at least be on the first side of the hurricane. We had a third of our shingles missing. God knows how many are missing now, and uh, it just continues to pound us. As this, the worst part is yet to spin in here. It's just to our south and west yet. So let's go back and listen to more of. Uh, from uh, Palm Beach and see what's going on here. Are, are they able to realize that? Are people breathing a sigh of relief this morning, or are they still just uh, kind of overwhelmed with how large the storm was? I think, you know, people were waiting this, for this to come, like everyone was, for so long. I think people are relieved it's over, and it wasn't that bad, so definitely a sigh of relief. Um, and it moved pretty quickly. I mean, it was rocking here at 5, 6, 7, and 8 o'clock, and now it's, people are driving around. It's slightly gusty to the most impacted uh, communities. Uh, the United Way provides the volunteer support uh, to assist the county. Uh, Scott Bennett, the executive director of the United Way, is to here to solicit support from the community. Well, Millibar is in about a six-hour span, so that's what he was talking about, the deep and rapid intensification of the storm. And right now we're looking at some brand new video coming into us from our crews down in Key West, and uh, you can just see a lot of debris uh, strewn all over the Keys, uh, boat docks that have been ripped apart, construction sites that are just a real mess. Uh, clearly there had been some flooding because you can see where the, where the waters had receded and where the, the uh, debris is left behind. Uh, they're going to have days and days of cleanup to do there. And yeah. It's, yeah, and it's trying to, if we continue to look at this video, I just want to bring in Mark Henderson sure. from MIA, Miami International Airport. So many people are wondering when they can possibly either get out or land here. Mark, what can you tell us? Okay, right now, unfortunately, we are closed. We're going to be closed the rest of the day. People will have to um, check probably tomorrow early to see whether or not we have opened back up again. That is due to Davin's assessment uh, that we're doing right now, so it does not look like we're going to be able to open back up uh, at least today. Mark, you say you're assessing the damage right now. Um, have you had any reports, or have you heard that there is some damage to MIA? There may, in fact, be some, but I'm not quite sure how much or, or, or exactly what at this point. And yet, certainly, are you at least seeing or getting reports of the winds dying down there? Yes. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, we are. And the thing that we always say when we have these, you know, these particular problems is that please check with the airline before you come, and because we're not... Basically, from Ocean Reef down to Marathon... Uh, and then there is some good news. Actually, a main line has been repaired for Marinus Hospital, so they are up and running. That is definitely good news for Marinus Hospital down in the Keys. A main line has been repaired. They do have electricity back on. I'm sure that is a relief for all the health workers down there that will be taking uh, care of any injuries due to Hurricane uh, Wilma. 26,000 uh, 26, people in the Upper Keys, however, remain without power from Ocean Reef down to Marathon, and I'm sure that as more reports start coming in of um, damage from the uh, Florida Keys, hopefully most of it will just be down power lines, some trees. This week, it's all going to spoil, and our first priority is to get that material picked up because that is the kind of thing that can pull in front, it's just barely hanging there. Uh, we're completely trapped in the house. We can't get out uh, between the wires and the trees. Uh, we're completely, completely boxed in. It's an absolute mess out here. Don't Huge. take a chance yeah. with those wires, man. Just no, we're not going near them. There. That's such a long list, and, and we feel for you, Steve. What was it like as all that was happening during the storm? Well, our house is a, a, a wood frame house, a very strong house. Uh, we were actually outside videoing the trees coming down. We have video footage of the trees actually snapping and crackling and coming down. Uh, one tree came right Okay, look at this, folks.
site here at the Emergency Operating Center. It's absolutely imperative that you stay indoors. Do not go out in the streets. Um, at this time, I would like to open the uh, press conference up for any any questions. Do you know anything about the unconfirmed deaths at all, like what community they're in, men, women? No. Um, I don't know anything about the unconfirmed deaths. Can you repeat the question? If you can. Uh, the, the question was uh, the number and where the confirmed uh, deaths were. We don't have any confirmed yet. We're getting reports from the field. Um, and we've not been able to get out there and, and actually attend to that. So until we're able to do that, we Standing up. Just heard a real loud roar outside. It sounded like thunder, but you don't get thunder in hurricanes. I'm wondering what that was. are not watching us uh. sporadically and we're not able to respond in those areas so as soon as, as soon as it clears and the winds get to the point where we can we will we'll get out to those yeah, I need to stress that there you know our damage assessment teams haven't gotten out this is a very cursory very quick drive-by to, clar to, to clarify what kind of both of you said should people plan to stay put home for 24 hours and not go out unless they need to get to a shelter. Uh, sort of implied that earlier. Well, I, I mean, uh, it's obvious that there's uh, almost countywide power outages, which means there's no traffic lights. There's really absolutely no reason to be out on the roads unless it's absolutely necessary. And I need to stress, I mean, if you do have to go out on the roads, you need to treat the traffic intersections as four-way stop signs. We went through this consistent, consistently last year. If it's not necessary, you need to stay in your homes. There's going to be down power lines. Uh, there's going to be a lot of debris on the road. It's just not necessary to be out cruising around after the storm passes. It's going to start getting dark, and you just don't know what you're going to be exposed to. Okay. Hey, Can you talk about what you call that? Uh, shelters at the beginning of the storm that people realized this was too scary we we're going to a Red Cross shelter to be safe. Also you said something interesting to me before you were talking about the fact that uh, uh, you have also several people from the American Red Cross mobilized to make their way down here to help. Well, we have hundreds of volunteers in, in, the, in the west side of the state here who prepared for Katrina just a few weeks ago and wasn't weren't used, so they were prepared to run the shelters. Now we have over 600 Red Cross volunteers from all over the Is there somewhere folks can call if they need some type of assistance, if, if there's anything that they can give or volunteer? Is there a number? Well, right now we're asking people to assistance in the shelters. Get a longer. So uh, if you feel that your house or where you are is being compromised, get in your safe room and just stay there until the storm passes. A very serious weather situation. We've had reports now of 111 mile an hour wind. That is... Uh, 
uh, at the West Palm Beach Airport, I believe. Right. Palm Beach International Palm picked Beach up a gust of 100 miles per hour. Of, uh, 100 miles that per hour. That was on the back side. Right. So we had 100 mile an hour wind gusts when it came in before the eye moved in, and now we have a 100 mile an hour wind gusts when the eye is moving across or uh, past to the east of us. So, so it appears that the back side is as strong, and then in some cases even stronger than the front side when it came through. Absolutely, no, no question. I think everyone, at least in Palm Beach County, is saying that the backside is stronger than the front side. Uh, and the wind speeds seem to uh, support that. Well, we've got uh, uh, definitely a little while longer before we get rid of that. Reports coming out of the lake are suggesting that this was about a 90-minute event, the backside of this hurricane, for them. And uh, along the coastline, we've been going at it for probably close to 45 minutes now. Uh, so we're looking at uh, more than likely another half an hour, and then it should be through the area. So about 1 o'clock is what you're saying for most yeah, people? Yeah, about 1 o'clock. We still see heavy bands working through uh, eastern Indian River, St. Lucie County. This is all backside related, and then into the metropolitan uh, Palm Beaches. We do have an indication, as Steve mentioned, that the uh, heavy, heavy winds are starting to abate somewhat in around the Lake Okeechobee area, and it figures to follow as it continues to pull offshore.